red lights reportedly ignored, a growing number of crashes, and mounting public concern. Now, U.S. federal regulators are launching a major investigation into Tesla's full self-driving software. The central question they're asking is a critical one. Is this technology creating an unreasonable risk on our roads? Is it truly unsafe, or are the concerns simply overhyped? Let's break down what's really happening. Tonight, we're going deep. We will unpack the official probe, examine the data behind the headlines, hear Tesla's defense, and explore what this all means for current owners, potential buyers, and the very future of automated driving. At the center of this story is NHTSA, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. This is the government body responsible for keeping our roads safe, and it has opened a deeper, more formal look into full self-driving's behavior, specifically at intersections and in certain crash scenarios. NHTSA's primary focus includes a pattern of reports alleging that vehicles using the system fail to stop for red lights or stop signs, and are involved in collisions where the driver assistance feature was allegedly active. To build its case, the agency meticulously collects and analyzes owner complaints, official crash data from law enforcement, and Tesla's own software recall records to evaluate whether a defect that poses an unreasonable risk exists, and what remedies might be required. It's crucial to understand that Full Self-Driving, or FSD, is Tesla's most advanced driver assistance package. It is still officially in beta for a select group of owners who opt in. It is not a fully autonomous system that can drive itself anywhere, anytime. Tesla itself requires constant human supervision. The company's terms are explicit. Drivers must keep their hands on the wheel, their eyes on the road, and be ready to intervene at any moment. The car is not driving, you are. Recent incident reports allege inconsistent and unpredictable intersection handling. This includes braking too late, creeping forward into traffic, and, in a handful of documented cases, entering an intersection against a red light. Several high-profile crashes involving advanced driver assistance systems have reignited public and regulatory scrutiny, especially in scenarios involving stationary emergency vehicles or complex, busy junctions. Viral clips of seemingly erratic behavior certainly amplify concerns, but federal regulators must look beyond these anecdotes to find verifiable patterns within the vast amounts of data they collect. Investigators meticulously map these incidents, correlating them by location, weather conditions, visibility, signal timing, the clarity of road markings, and the specific software versions involved to spot potential systemic issues. They also examine the system's logic, how it perceives and classifies traffic signals, how it prioritizes moving objects versus stationary ones, and critically, how effectively it hands control back to the driver when it gets confused. If these data patterns reveal a significant safety risk, NHTSA can escalate its probe to a full engineering analysis and ultimately compel Tesla to issue recalls or mandate specific software changes. Navigating intersections safely is one of the most critical tasks in driving. Even small errors in perception or planning by an automated system can have outsized and potentially tragic consequences. And it's a vital reminder that no matter how advanced the technology claims to be, the legal and moral responsibility ultimately rests with the human being behind the wheel. So, what exactly is contained within this federal probe, and what do the numbers truly say about the risks? In the next section, we'll look at the reported statistics, analyze key examples from the investigation, and see how they compare to past probes into Tesla's technology. Then we will balance that with a look at Tesla's intended design, the built-in safeguards, and the system's known limitations. There's a lot to cover. Stay with me. To understand the scope of the issue, investigators start with the data. Owner complaints filed with NHTSA and various state agencies describe dozens of intersection anomalies. A smaller but more concerning subset of these reports allege the vehicle entered an intersection against a red light. It's crucial to note that complaints are not the same as verified crashes. Many reports are unconfirmed, lack sufficient data, or may involve driver error. However, when these unverified reports form clusters around specific behaviors, they can signal an underlying risk worth investigating. 
Unsurprisingly, urban corridors with intricate signal timing, dense traffic, and unpredictable pedestrians show a higher concentration of reports. The sheer exposure to these challenging scenarios increases the probability of an error occurring. Let's look at a few common failure modes. Example 1. A stale yellow light turns red. The system correctly initiates braking, but then hesitates as it processes oncoming traffic making unprotected left turns. This indecision forces the driver to intervene and apply the brakes firmly. Example 2. Poor lane markings combined with low-angle sun glare. The vision system struggles to find its position, causing the car to drift within the lane and creep forward uncertainly. The driver has to disengage to navigate the intersection safely. Example 3. Heavy rain at night, water on the windshield, and road can obscure camera vision and distort light sources. In this scenario, the system detects the red light late, prompting a sudden driver takeover to stop safely before the crosswalk. This isn't the first time intersection behavior has been under the microscope. In early 2022, Tesla issued an over-the-air recall for about 54,000 vehicles to address a rolling stop feature. That software update tightened the system's rules, forcing a complete stop at stop signs to better comply with traffic laws and federal safety expectations. Later, a separate NHTSA investigation scrutinized a pattern of autopilot-equipped vehicles crashing into stationary emergency vehicles, which prompted broader software changes related to object detection and driver alerts. Those actions were part of a multi-year look at the entire suite of driver assistance features, focusing on driver monitoring, lane keeping, and the effectiveness of attention safeguards. More recently, in late 2023, Tesla deployed a massive safety-related update to roughly 2 million vehicles, specifically designed to bolster driver engagement prompts and prevent misuse. Context here is critical. Millions of assisted miles are driven daily without incident. But with a system this widespread, even a tiny failure rate can produce a noticeable number of adverse events. Regulators must weigh the frequency of these events against their severity and preventability, especially at intersections, where pedestrians and cyclists are most vulnerable. The fact that many reports end with a safe driver takeover is a double-edged sword. It's a sign of driver vigilance, but also a clear indicator of the system's current limitations. While past probes centered on autopilot's highway behavior, the expansion of FSD into unpredictable city streets introduces an entirely new dimension of complexity and risk. Attention checks, audible nags, and cabin camera analytics have all evolved significantly in response to regulatory pressure, yet questions remain about their real-world effectiveness in preventing complacency. Legal outcomes in individual crash cases vary by jurisdiction, but they create a powerful feedback loop, influencing how companies tune safety features, market their systems, and write their disclosures. Now, we'll examine Tesla's defense, how FSD is designed to perceive the world, where it shines, and the known edge cases where it can stumble. Plus, we'll unpack the new controversy surrounding drowsiness prompts and explore what actions regulators might take next. On to design, safeguards, and the road ahead. Tesla leans on vision, multiple cameras, neural nets, and planning models to detect signals, lanes, pedestrians, and drivers around you. The stack plans, trajectories, yields, and turns then executes through steering, throttle, and brakes, always under human supervision. Signal handling relies on robust detection and timing prediction, but glare, occlusion, and odd timing can still challenge it. Safeguards include hands-on monitoring, lane departure alerts, and escalating warnings up to auto brake and disengagement. Ignore prompts, and the car can slow and stop. Tesla says the human is responsible for the vehicle at all times. Limitations Temporary traffic control Confusing paint, unusual intersections, heavy rain, and bright sun can degrade performance. Tesla argues FSD can reduce crashes by maintaining vigilance, reacting faster than humans, and improving continuously via updates. Release notes often cite better lane selection, smoother turns, and improved traffic light handling across versions. In demos, planners choose safer gaps and reduce hesitation, but real roads remain messy and unpredictable. 
Recently, user videos and posts claim the system recommended enabling FSD when the driver appeared drowsy, sparking backlash. These clips are not official documentation. Tesla has not endorsed driving when fatigued, and guidance warns against it. Cabin monitoring is intended to increase attention, not replace it. If you are drowsy, you should not drive, with or without assist. If regulators find misleading prompts or inadequate safeguards, they can mandate software changes, warnings, or broader recalls. Legal language emphasizes driver responsibility. Still, user interface choices can shape behavior and face scrutiny. Expect pressure for clearer labeling, stronger attention checks, and consistent behavior at intersections. So where does this leave FSD? Its future, reputation, and your day-to-day -day safety. Next, a practical lens for owners and shoppers weighing the risks and benefits. Let's get actionable. Looking ahead, the future of FSD hinges on a single non-negotiable element, trust. For the public, regulators, and even loyal owners, consistent, predictable behavior at intersections will make or break confidence in the system. Every hesitant stop or unexpected lurch erodes that trust, while every smooth, human-like maneuver builds it back up. Expect more training data, stricter edge case handling, and faster corrective updates if regulators push hard. The pressure is on to prove the system can learn and adapt quickly. If performance stabilizes, the narrative can shift from hype and fear to measurable safety gains, backed by transparent data. For current owners, the most important advice is this. Treat FSD as a level 2 driver assistance system, because that's what it is. Get comfortable with quick takeovers and know how to disengage instantly. Use a light, consistent grip. Do not fight the wheel, but be ready to override firmly if needed. This keeps you connected to the car's actions. Read release notes after each update. Features and limitations change sometimes subtly, but those details matter. Disable FSD around temporary controls, complex work zones, or poor visibility. When in doubt, drive manually. Your judgment is still the ultimate safety feature. Never use driver assistance when drowsy. If you are tired, stop and rest. No software can make fatigue safe. Report issues to Tesla and to NHTSA with clear details. Accurate reports improve safety for everyone. Choose conservative settings. Longer following distance and calmer acceleration buy you precious reaction time. If you are shopping, test the basics first. Braking feel, visibility, ergonomics, before weighing beta features. A car must be a good car before it's a smart one. Consider the price of FSD against your actual routes. If you primarily drive on highways, basic autopilot may be sufficient. City street autonomy is still evolving. Read the manual, watch official tutorials, and understand your responsibilities before enabling advanced features. Bottom line, FSD can assist, but intersection handling must be rock solid. Regulators will keep pressing until it is, because that's where the risk is highest. Progress is real, scrutiny is healthy, and transparency builds trust. As drivers, we set the standard by using the tech wisely and speaking up when it falls short. Our feedback is a critical part of the development cycle. Now I want to hear from you. Have you used FSD at tricky intersections? What happened? Your real-world experiences are invaluable. Share specific locations, weather, and software versions to help other owners and inform the discussion. The more detail, the better. If this helped clarify the situation, tap subscribe and watch the next deep dives linked here. Drive safe, stay alert, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.